plus skeletons. So those streams were things that came from the Connect sensor. The skeleton tracking is uh, done in software on the on the computer. It can, if I open my legs, you, you can see my feet with the V1. Uh, with the V2, there's uh, V1 is 20 joints, V2 is 25. Uh, and the joints are also placed more anatomically correctly. So you can see the shoulder, uh, the shoulders are more correct in terms of having you know, a center and outside. The hips are, are a place where your hips would be rather than just kind of like somewhere in your femur. Right. And there's a neck joint. There's also um, s several more um, hand joints. So with V1, you have a wrist and a hand. With V2, you have a wrist, a hand, and a thumb tip, and a fingertip. So you can kind of have this kind of claw going thing, thing going on. You can tell it's thumbs up, thumbs down, sometimes. Uh, so a lot more fidelity. You can also kind of see the, uh, the response rate. So, so you notice these circles on the V2. There's, this is a new feature for the SDK itself. It's doing hand tracking. Now, the V1 does do hand tracking. It's not integrated into the body system, though. And the V1 can tell grip and, uh, and open hand. And it can also tell whether you're pushing or not. It's part of the Connect Interactions feature. The V2 has open hand and grip. You can see it goes from green to red. And it's you know, pretty immediate. It's, it works in a variety of orientations. And uh, they, they use a really complicated machine learning technique that trained all of this. And they manually labeled hundreds of thousands of cases. And it, there's actually a good presentation in Build uh, 2013 about the machine learning process they used. But they've also asked, added a new one, which they call Lasso, but it's really uh, like two, two finger pointing. So two finger point turns blue, open, point. It works with one finger point, but it's not quite as reliable as, as two. It's just about the area that it can see. About three. So, um, Same. so four, it looks like an open hand. Three is kind of just like one. Yeah. You, could, you could do these two, maybe. It, it can actually tell the difference between my pinky and my ring finger up, and my first and second finger up. So you can speak sign to it? No. Well, the sign language is an a ongoing research project. Um, the tricky thing for s real sign language recognition is that the speed at which people actually sign is so fast that it's only like uh, one frame that they would see a particular s uh, signal. Uh, and uh, they also have to have um, you know, better hand tracking. Now, uh, you can do in, like full hand skeletons, and several uh, we've done that, um, and then later other people have done that. But uh, usually that requires uh, a bit closer range. The things that Microsoft provides out of the box works for the full range of the sensor. So the hand tracking all the way, you know, I can go farther back from this wall, but you know, all the way back here is you know still reliable for. Tracking the hands. So two hands. Um, can you stand up with me? Multiple people. Six people. Uh, we could, if we had room here, fit six people, and uh, um, we'd be able to see it with the V2. With the V1, you'd only be able to track two of them. So you can see there's there's one little dot on the V1 because it knows that there's a person here, but it's only tracking two of the skeletons. And we can actually choose which two skeletons, but with uh, V2, it's, it's been improved so much we don't need to have that restriction.